A military operating area is depicted on a VFR sectional chart using these magenta colored hash marks. So you have this solid line with hash marks coming out from the solid line itself. Anytime you see these and you see MOAs within that area, you're dealing with a military operating area. It is important for you to know as a remote pilot what to expect in a military operating area. In MOAs, you are typically going to see, depending on if it's active or not, military aircraft flying through this airspace. They could be low, they could be high, it just depends. Each military operating area that you see on the map is going to mean that you're going to see some type of military traffic flying through there. It's important for you as a remote pilot to be aware of that. But do you have to get clearance to fly in a military operating area? Well, if there is no other airspace around, no other controlled airspace, which on this sectional chart where I have my cursor at, there's obviously not. There's class E starting at 1,200 feet. So we're in class G airspace at the ground and up to 1,200 feet. So there's no other controlled airspace. Can I operate in there without getting authorization? Of course. A military operating area does not keep you from operating without getting authorization. It's just there so that you are aware and man pilots are aware that there is going to be some military activity going on in that area, depending on the time of day, depending on the actual day, the month, it just kind of depends on the military schedule. It's there for you to be aware that you might see some military aircraft flying in that area. So you just need to be more situationally aware as a remote pilot anytime you're flying in an MOA. And if you notice here, we see a couple more MOAs. We have the Tyndall B MOA, Tyndall C and H MOAs, Tyndall D MOA. It's all controlled by Tyndall Air Force Base, which is actually down here, which is a Class D airport. They control these military operating areas. So if I, as a remote pilot, want to fly in this area, I might see some Tyndall jets depending on the day. Again, though, I do not have to get approval to fly in that area. I'm perfectly legal to fly there. And anytime you get a little confused with what depiction is used for a military operating area, just look for the name. The name is either going to be inside the MOA or right next to it. That's how a military operating area is depicted and how an MOA works.